is September 9, 2017. Brushes with Cancer, Chicago. We're at Revel Fulton Market. Chicago is everything to me. So to come back after five years and to have this program here and to see it grow and to thrive, it's incredibly meaningful. For the same reason everybody else is here, to support Jenna and this amazing event, Twist Out Cancer and Brushes with Cancer, because everybody has been touched by cancer, unfortunately, in some way or another. Just trying to do our part to twist it out, really. For the last nine months, my team and I have been working tirelessly to try and create this really beautiful event, this beautiful program. And I was so excited to finally be able to see the inspirations and artists that have been participating all of this time. It's incredible to see my likeness and to see how somebody else was able to hear my story and interpret it in a way that through his lens is very powerful. The second we were walking across the room and I saw David Bowie pink and purple, I was like, that's my painting. And I just started tearing up because it was such a perfect representation of what I love and am, and she captured it so perfectly without even meeting me in person, so it was amazing. The whole point of Brushes is to get people to come forward with their story, to share what they've gone through, and then to see what happens when they put that out there. walking around and looking at the different artwork and how the inspiration is, has affected the artist and what they were able to create is really, really awe-inspiring and it, it kind of emotional as well. So it's amazing uh, what they're doing and just how many people are now involved. I love meeting people, I love to meet the different artists, and I love to uh, figure out like what they were thinking with their inspiration. It's just a great night all together. Just what a fabulous outlet it is for, me, for people to express themselves and their stories, to share with people without any preconditions built around them, to feel really open and, and vulnerable at the same time to express themselves. And if a little bit of that is reflected out into the world and other people take that as inspiration, I think that makes me really happy. I was looking forward to seeing some of this artwork, listening to awesome music, and just seeing just this outpouring of support. 750 people here tonight. was to finally be able to give hugs and to really interact with the people that I had been working with for the last nine months. And to see the stories and the artwork on the wall was a really powerful moment for me. I think for me, the great takeaway is a new like friendship that we've been developing across borders between Canada and the US through this program. But now we get to meet face to face and we're gonna continue hopefully in some collaborative fashion. It's on record now with you. It's just crazy that something that came out of such a desperate and lonely place turned into something that's so beautiful and meaningful for other people. So for me to be able to look out and see a sea of people that were somehow impacted, whether it was my story or the story of others, just makes it all really incredibly meaningful for me. Like there was a purpose to what I went through. And so my hope is with 700 people that were here tonight, someone will be inspired to say, hey, I need to bring this to DC or I need to bring this to Tokyo, or I need to bring this to LA, wherever it is, 
we now have a great model that can be scaled, that we can empower people that have been touched by this program, we can empower them to be able to bring it to their community. So I'm excited to see how that all unfolds.